so like i would suggest like what i faced in the interview that whatever you have written in the resume every single detail every single project or any internship you should be thorough of it you should know every small detail or any variation of that project any um, any limitation or any future scope all the theories of those things because the interview you can ask you anything related to your projects and internship uh so like the, in the first and the starting it was quite scary because it's triple it hyderabad the btech students are very smart they have been doing coding since the first year it was like they have 3 years of experience in that and i am just someone new and i'm starting so that it was quite scary in the starting hi guys i am vimesh singh welcome to my channel in this video we are going to share internship interview experience of kupa with somya who needed internship at kupa apart from this uh, somya will also share her experience as a mtech candidate how it's easy or hard to crack internship even placement interview because it is quite different than btech candidate somya is pursuing her mtech from tripart hyderabad but before going any further please do subscribe our channel and agar video pasand aaye to like kariye and apne friends ke sath share kariye apart from this in previous video we have already shared interview experience of google facebook microsoft amazon direct ai and many more and link of those video in the description below so you can watch them hi samya welcome to my channel hi how are you i'm fine how are you i am good so could you please introduce yourself to our audience Uh, hi everyone i'm somya lalwani i'm currently pursuing mtech csc from triple it hyderabad i secured a gate rank of 864, 864. and i'm currently back in internship in kupa okay so you got very good rank in gate so why you chose triple it hyderabad because it's have their own entrance exam so why you join triple it hyderabad If first of all, like Triple IT Hyderabad is kind of known as the CS hub of all the colleges in India. So, I mean, the culture, the coding culture, the environment—it was always attractive. So, yeah, <laughs> that was one of the reasons. Uh, as you have cracked the gate and PG double exam or Triple IT Hyderabad, so there might be chance that you was not much into the coding. So, how did you prepare for internship? Uh, so first of all, to everyone, Triple IT has a pure coding environment. Like if you are at Triple IT Hyderabad, you will learn coding automatically. So the environment is in that way only. So uh, my initially, I mean, uh, initially when we started in the college, so the seniors were there. uh they were quite helpful i mean they were really helpful so they guided us that uh, do this way to start coding this way so it took a month like a lot of months of practice and preparation to finally get so good in coding get good in coding yeah okay so did you started with from very scratch or you have already a decent knowledge and just started the competitive programming uh i mean i did coding before but uh, not so much in competitive coding so uh, kind of i i started from the basics only it's better to start from the basics and improve them and then move to further topics okay okay let's talk about kupa now first tell us something about kupa why you were excited to join kupa and how is the culture in kupa and what kind of company it is uh kupa is a finance based company and uh, like i was actually quite excited because of the work culture that i've heard about uh, the i mean the work culture the learning experience what i've heard from my seniors and some colleagues as well so that's quite interesting and definitely i'll be learning many things what was the selection process of kupa uh so there were uh, there were three rounds in it the first round was the written round where we had three coding questions and then around like uh, 20 25 students were selected from that and then i had two rounds uh, in this 
the first round was a technical round uh, related to i was asked the coding question and uh, regarding my internships and project and then the second round was more of a, like a managerial round but uh, with projects and with one coding questions and overall on internships and everything so okay. we four students were selected then so how was your online coding round experience how many questions did they ask and what are the time limitation there uh the there were three three questions were asked in the coding round everyone had different sets some had some graph problems some had some uh, like triplet sum problems uh, array problems we all had different kinds of set and it was uh, a one hour coding test with three questions uh, one was a dp question dynamic programming related question another was a graph problem related question and uh, third one was an array problem like uh, we had two arrays and uh, a given sum k so we had to find out which pair uh, the first pair the first element of the pair from the first array and the second element of the pair from the second array so we had to find how many number of pairs were there with the given sum so what was the difficulty level of the question how many question you were able to solve that time uh i solved all the three questions uh, on the test and uh, like the difficulty level like everyone had different since i said everyone had different set of questions so it was almost like one simple questions and two difficult questions okay two medium to difficult questions yeah after successfully completion of online round where you have solved all three questions how was your experience of interview first interview round which was happened which happened to be technical round what was the difficulty level and the interview was based only on the competitive programming or did he, he ask anything else okay uh, so the overall the interview started first of all with my introduction i told him about my projects my resume and my current subjects so the first question he asked was a coding question like uh, he gave me an array and told there were four possible cases that the array can be uh, strictly increasing strictly decreasing increasing then decreasing or decreasing then increasing so i had to code first of all to check which of the four options uh, the array was and then he started giving me variations for the third and fourth part the increasing the decreasing or decreasing then increasing this is actually called a pythonic series so he kept, he kept giving me different variations i had to uh, simultaneously make changes in my code to answer him that was with the question of the the coding question and um, then he asked me about my current subjects one of my current subject was uh, system and network security so he started asking me questions related to security the application layer protocols and then he shifted from uh, to the concepts of computer networks from gate like uh, what the, he started from the basic questions what is tcp ip difference between tcp udp then different methods of congestion control and basic basic questions related to that so he asked me all those questions in depth actually and uh, yeah so it was a 45 minutes interview and uh, he was quite satisfied with my answers yeah did he also ask something from your project or internship uh, no he just asked me summary my one of the project was uh, a little bit a little bit based on security so he asked just some questions and on uh, is just asked some questions on it and then shifted to the basic concepts only and in a coding question did he ask you to write the code or did or what he just expected uh, approach from your side uh, no initially he asked me the approach so uh, first of all he asked me to give a complete naive approach and uh, then i started trying to optimize those approaches and i had to code it yeah for sure in every coding round i had to code it even if he asked me for a small variation in the code like what should i do if this is my case so i have to change my answer so i have to change my code and then show him that means he want to see how will you react in totally different situation or totally new question so he want your reaction that you are trying to adapt the question and you how you are evolving uh, kind of like he wanted to see how modular my code was that uh, if i can make any changes to it or not that okay. thing also
So that was the only technical round. After that, you yeah. faced the HR round. So yeah. HR, how was your HR round? It was just HR round, or it was uh, something related to managerial round as well? Uh, it was kind of like a combined round because I was asked a technical question. I mean, I was asked a coding question as well, and then questions on my project and internship. So it was all a combined round. The second round. So in second round, what were the difficulty level of coding questions? Uh, compared to the first round, like the coding question in second round was easy for me. I mean, I actually felt the question a bit easy. So one of the question was like uh, I was given an array and I had to find a triplet that was that was a Pythagorean triplet. So I mean, I knew the approach to this question, so I answered him. And then he shifted from coding round to asking about my internships and projects. So it almost took like 30 minutes on my internships and projects only. He took concepts of database. One of my internships was uh, for, for the backend. So related to backend purpose. So he started asking me then about DBMS concepts and uh, yeah. So that means you must be uh, thorough of your projects and whatever you have written in uh, your resume because most of the question was asked in second round from your resume itself, right? Yes, I mean, everyone should be, everyone should know what they have written in their resume. Like any point of the resume, any project, any small detail, you should be able to answer that. Yeah, like he asked in-depth questions from my internships and project. He made sure that yes, uh, I did actually, I actually worked a lot on those internships and so like I would suggest like what I faced in the interview that whatever you have written in the resume, every single detail, every single project on any internship, you should be thorough of it. You should know every small detail or any variation of that project, any um, any limitation or any future scope, all the theories of those things. Because the interview, you can ask you anything related to your projects and internship. You can ask any detail. He will make sure that you are comfortable with what you did and you're comfortable with your work. And you'll be able to adapt to any new work given. Okay. So, you are from MTech. So, what difference you have seen in the placement uh, scenario in the college of MTech means? How it is different from BTEC because you have seen the BTEC candidates of your college as well. Uh, so like the, in the first year in the starting, it was quite scary because it's triple IT Hyderabad. The BTEC students are very smart. They have been doing coding since the first year. It was like they have three years of experience in that, and I am just someone new and I'm starting. So that it was quite scary in the starting when we apply for companies when the, like when we have coding around but eventually we practice we practice a lot so it kind of now we are like on the same level somehow so guys as soon as you are confirmed with your college for mtech you so start preparing your coding skills because you might be thinking you are very good in technical subject you have cracked the gate with good rank but it does not matter if your coding skills are not very good. You have cleared a gate exam with around 800 blank. So what was your yes. preparation strategy? Thank you, Soumya. Thank you very much. So thank you. It was lovely being here and subscribe to Saddle Education. Guys, please, please, please do subscribe to my channel and please like, share with your friends. Thank and press the bell icon.